Hey guys, we've had quite a few requests for gauntlets, shields and braces, so we've combined them all and made an arm-mounted shield that can be used for offence as well as defence. For this build you will require a large amount of metal, but you can easily make a similar one out of half a gas container. We'll be making ours out of a barrier made of mild steel that was being thrown away at a store that was being refurbished. First we cut up the steel using a cut-off wheel on an angle grinder. As Xander's had a lot of practice with the angle grinder, he's made an almost perfect cut, but this result could also be achieved using a jigsaw. Ooh, look at the baby cut-off wheel! Once cut out, remove any small pieces stuck to the edge of the metal with a file. This will make the metal a lot easier to work with. Next we're going to make the folds. First measure the space for your forearm and draw the guides with a marker. If you're using a thick metal like we are, you'll have to cut grooves to fold it. Using an angle grinder with a cut-off wheel, follow the guides cutting from quarter to half the depth of the metal. This way you can make the bends a lot more easily and with more accuracy. After that we clamped down the metal and started bending it towards the groove using a hammer and measuring it with the spirit level. We then did the same on the other side and made sure it's the same on both sides using a bevel gauge. This next step isn't essential, but will increase the overall strength of the shield. Zan used an arc welder we were able to get our hands on to go over the grooves. This is the first day he's ever done any arc welding, so please be kind in the comments. Following that, cut a section of steel pole to size at an angle so it will lay flat against the shield. Once that's done, weld the handle onto the shield but make sure to leave space for your hand so when punching your hand won't strike the metal. If you want to make any changes to the shape of the shield, now is the time. We removed the corners so that the edges have no chance of hitting the user and it makes the shield look better. So far it looks pretty cool. We also wanted the shield to be used as a fist, so we added angle iron onto the front. First cut your angle iron to size in separate pieces. Our angle iron is from an old post. It's rusty, but it'll work. Once we got all the pieces we needed, we removed the rust with the grinding wheel. Then weld all the pieces to the shield and make sure it can withstand damage. After that, cut the angle iron at an angle. At this point you've finished your build, but we'll be adding a few more features. Cut out some spikes of any leftover metal and then weld them together into pairs. After cleaning up the welds with the grinding wheel, weld them onto the shield, then go over the entire thing with some paint. It'll look better in black, but all we had was silver. And finally, add some straps for stability. First drill holes into the shield for the mounting point. To create the holes in the straps, we just heated a rivet with a heat gun and pushed it through the nylon straps. But last of all, add some washers and pop the rivet. Now to try this thing out. Do it.